Hey guys, this uh, lesson's on Coulomb's law and finding the force uh, um, due to something at another point. So um, this will be a two-parter. First, we're gonna find the electric field at this uh, point. Then we're gonna put a proton where it is and find um, what force this is acting on it. Say this proton is nailed down, by the way, so it's not free to move. It's only free to uh, emit electric field. So Essentially, let's go over these equations real quick. We uh, remember that E is just a constant times Q um, times the distance squared. And I'm not going to put a hat in this one just because uh, we're going to keep it scalar, just to keep it simple. And uh, our force is force equals Q times E. And you might wonder why I put different uh, Qs here, and that's uh, not for... Uh, any other reason just uh, so we know that they're uh, different. Uh, this Q will be the Q that this electric force is pulling on or um, putting on it. But this Q will be the force or the, the charge accepting the electric force and acting um, and showing how to act on it. So uh, there's uh, these will be two different Qs. Or they'll actually end up being the same but um, I'll show you uh, why they're different. So first, we have to find the electric field at this point uh, due to this proton. Uh, we know it's a proton, and um, all positive things uh, point an electric field, while negative things uh, pull an electric field. I shouldn't say uh, pull an electric field, because it's not emitting force, but the electric field points towards it. So the electric field from this proton will be going this way, or away from it. Uh, sorry, it's probably not, nah, it's not very straight, but um, you get the basic idea away from it. So, let's find the electric field of it real quick. So, we know we might not know much, but we know it's protons, we know the Q. Uh, in case you don't know, the charge of a proton is 1.6 e to the negative 19th coulombs. So, we just need to plug all this in this formula, and this constant here is uh, 9 e to the 9th can't remember the units, I think it's Newton meter squared over Coulomb squared, but that's not uh, super important right now. Um, times our Q, which again is this, so I'm just going to say Q, since we know it's uh, this right here, or just say this equals Q, over R squared, and this is what equals R, because that's the distance that we're going. So this here equals R. And uh, when you uh, work that all out, you'll end up getting an electric field of 300 newtons per coulomb. So if you do all that algebra, uh, take this times the charge of this over the distance from where we're trying to find the electric field squared, you'll get 300 newtons per coulomb. So now let's do the second part of this problem. Let's say we put a proton right there exactly on that spot. Remember this one is free to move. This one isn't free to move. It's nailed down. We want to find the force that the this electric field uh, acts on it. So the force again equals Q of what is feeling the electric field. In this case again it's going to be 1.6 E to the negative 19th coulombs times the E field where it's being experienced, which is 300 newtons per coulomb. And uh, when you uh, equal that out, it'll end up being um, 4.8 E to the negative 17th newtons. And if you notice, coulombs times ne uh, newtons per coulomb cancel out to be newtons. So that's how you find um, the force. So that's how, you, uh, that's how you find it. And uh, if you notice it's positive so it'll be going the same direction as the E. And that makes sense because uh, positive or like charges uh, repel so that's why it's feeling force in that direction. And um, so let's say just for fun let's say this is no longer a proton let's say it's an electron. Everything would be the same um, you know, they have the same charge and the same, and it would still feel the same electric, uh, electric field. The only difference is that an electron is negatively charged. Sorry, that should be in there, but I just don't have any room. So, uh, the only thing that that would change on this is it would give it a negative sign. So, 
the, uh, the force would be facing this direction then. So it would be going towards it. And as you probably learned from your class, uh, unlike charges attract. So that's why um, this formula works like this. And that's why you have to have two different cues here. Um, and that's essentially how it works. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, please send me a uh, message and I'd be happy to get back to you. I'll see you next lesson.